10 new secrets in the town hall update. Yeah, I'm not even kidding. We're looking at 10 new secrets that have been found, and some of them are very, very interesting and make you question a lot. But we're going over them all today. Don't forget, we got a new rosy alien hoodie. You can go get it on Roblox. Pretty cool. All right, dude. Nope, 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 nope. We're not going to waste time. We're going to get right into this. If, for some reason, you've not hit that like button, Please do so, and let's get on with this crazy new top 10. Not wasting any time, right at the entrance of the wonderful town hall, I see something over to my right that is known as the tax collector. <laughs> Our favorite person. Anyway, so let's go over to the tax collector place and look at oh, a safe. Perhaps I could steal the money in it. <laughs> but that is not exactly what we're going to do. But one of the first secrets in this town hall tax collecting area is, of course, that you can jump on top of the safe behind this brick wall here and hide away forever from everyone it's quite peaceful in here i, I promise it's just it's kind of lonely but it's a good hiding place one of the best around okay moving on upstairs into the mayor's office which is right here nice nice, nice little nice little mayor's office i have a personally um the mayor i want you um all right let's go in here and let's go ahead and plaster our face over there because we're the brookhaven mayor for the time being at least and now as we sit on our table and we look across and look up we see a painting of some sort, almost like a mirror that doesn't really have any reflection or anything on it. And I think it needs a little spice. I think I need to be thankful for the people that help around Brookhaven. So let's go out here and let's turn the light off by pressing this button and heading back in. Now we can see a thank you letter to all the people that helped over on the Brookhaven um, Discord. That's what it's called. It's called Discord. It's a pretty good place, right? All right. So yeah, we have that. Special thanks to all uh, uh, all the moderators over on the Discord and people that helped out. I think it's fantastic. You know, it's just a nice little touch. You know, as the mayor, you gotta show appreciation sometimes. Ah, so leaving the mayor's room uh, or office, shall I say, we're gonna head into the witness. I'm just kidding. We're not. <laughs> this room is cool though, but there's no secrets in the witness protection area. Surprisingly, I mean, it would be cool if I could wear these wigs, but it doesn't give me the option to pick them up. But either way, let's go on out and let's head to the middle here. Now, this centerpiece has always been odd. There's a center area here with no logo or nothing. It's just kind of like, boom, there it is. So you would think that that's suspicious just a little bit, right? Well, of course, you have two pillars, of course, and what is always so dominant in Brookhaven? That is, of course, buttons. Lots of buttons. Buttons that activate secret things and secret buttons. So if we go over here and we look behind this one, we're going to see... There is nothing there. But if we turn right around, we can see, oh, what is that? It's a glowing green light. Oh my God. Press the glowing green light and then something will open up on the wall. This green light on this side of the wall will reopen it if you have to exit. But as we climb up this ladder, we will go to the top only to be able to uh, jump over here to see that there is a money printing machine with more buttons. <laughs> you thought that was all the buttons wrong. There's more buttons and more. They just keep on generating. So we can come over here and we can press this button and then it's gonna start generating us infinite amounts of money. We found the real life money glitch, everyone. This is, <laughs> this is it, it's a cheat code. But yeah, so you can come here, pick the money up, make the money rain, do whatever you gotta do with your new infinite money. It's pretty cool. What are you gonna buy? I'm gonna buy a new piece, a slice of pizza. Yeah, that sounds like a good thing to do. All right, <laughs> let's keep going. I don't know, hold up, let me, first up, let me, there you go, I just wanted to show that, <laughs> it's pretty cool, right? you just get out there, okay, anyways, let's go. Going down here into the FBI building, there's Brookhaven Fugitives, a possible hacker, a house, plot 13 in the most wanted list, but, as we go over here and I conduct my hacking experiment under the undercover profile of an FBI agent, I will hack into all the viewers' computers to make them subscribe, <laughs> Please subscribe, honestly. I can't hack your computer and make you subscribe. So if you just hit that button, that's gonna help out a lot. But let's jump over here and let's go to this right here. Anybody can be a fugitive in Brookhaven. You can add yourself as a fugitive and my name is Jenkins. So I'm gonna go ahead and put Jenkins here. Now, I, my name is Blocked. Okay, cool. But anyways, Jenkins, uh, the fugitive here. Uh, he looks exactly like me, but he's not me. That's the thing. He, he's the, he's a, he's a, what do they call those look legs man? But anyway, so, yeah. I, I still think it's odd that you can't add other players as fugitives. That's a little weird because, like, why would you want to add yourself as a fugitive if you're working at the police station and you see someone commit a crime? You see what I'm saying? So, that's a little bit, that's a species. But, um, yeah, I, I don't know. But that's still a really cool feature. You can become a fugitive. You can, uh have other people added as fugitives. I guess if you arrest someone and bring them in, right, you're gonna have to take their photo and then that enables them to be a fugitive, but yeah. Either way, um, yep, yeah, so that's that's a cool little feature, I guess. Ah, <sighs> 
Spark Plug Moonstar Heat Wave Poison Ivy Queen Cobra and Chief Rotten. Moving right on to the next one here, guys. The most wanted list is something that's newly added to Brookhaven that's making me question a lot. Is it gonna be superheroes and supervillains all across Brookhaven? Are we gonna need to recruit Captain America? I don't know. <laughs> it's uh, the Marvel Universe. It's invented Brookhaven, but I don't know. Um, but one thing specific from these new wanted individuals, uh, what we could take from this is Chief Rotten. Very odd, right? Did you tell me Chief Rotten is green? Uh, he was previously a police officer, that uh, a chief police officer, chief captain there. Um, let's go ahead and compare him to the green man at the second floor in the hospital. You know, the floor of the agency and their conductive uh, experience that uh, medical officer Abbott said, nope, I'm stepping down from. Well, if we go on in here, we can see that this guy is green and he is as well rotten. So I'm thinking, guys, this is comparing or adding to the Brookhaven storyline on this new... Uh, infected, you know, like zombie-like people called the Rotten that are kind of in Brookhaven. They're taking over Brookhaven in some regards, too. I don't know if they're living alongside the other Brookhaven citizens or how that's working or they're just slowly eating the brains of all the Brookhaven citizens. It's still a weird question. So Chief Rotten is definitely connected to the green men that we see getting infected throughout all of Brookhaven. And apparently he might be the ringleader. He might be the one turning these normal citizens into green what we call rotten uh, individuals. I don't know. It, it's kind of weird, but ever since I seen Chief Rotten, I thought that was weird, and I think it's a little sneak peek secret to some future stuff that may be adding to the storyline. I don't know, though. You didn't hear it from me. All right, let's go. <laughs> okay, speaking of the rotten family that seems to be just generating up in Brookhaven, this is something that you might not have put together, but it is, in fact, valid and very odd. So if we go over here to the gas station, we see that it is called Rotten Robbie. Another individual that appears to be rotten that runs something in Brookhaven. This is making me think that the rotten uh, people are not necessarily evil or not necessarily going to kill you. They are trying to fit back into society as just infected individuals, right? Maybe when you become rotten or you become infected with this illness that turns your body green and everything, you're still normal. You're just a bit different and uh, you might be a little bit sickly at times, but you can still go about having your businesses and being conducted throughout the normal life of society in Brookhaven. Now that's an interesting theory and that could definitely be the case because we have Rotten Robbies here, we have Chief Rotten, um, we have a lot of green men that, well, in the movie First Contact, a lot of the green infected people that turn rotten seem to be uh, dying. So I don't know. Maybe some of them don't die and they're able to kind of, um, you know, commit to society and uh, live alongside the other citizens. Uh, kind of like how some of the ghouls in like the Fallout series do, I guess, if you guys ever played that. But uh, yeah, so I don't know. Pretty cool. Figured I would throw that in as well. That's a little, you know, sneaky thing that is connected there. So, I don't know, do you? <laughs> you know, that's just what I, yeah, okay, let's go. Heading on over to the old mayor's house, which is now a party planner, modeling agency, and a law office. <laughs> let's go ahead and head up here. It's an office space that is combined in then with three offices, and it is very interesting at that. Um, there's three offices in here that are combined, and you can do some cool things regarding these offices. So obviously, you could change uh, the wording here. This is going to be known as cake planners okay they plan cakes okay they plan cakes dude and this one's gonna be known as not the party planner but the uh, the, the, the 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 um the money planning you know they, they plan your money i guess okay like an accountant a law office no we don't need a law office we need a a claw um a no 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 i got this a, a grooming um grooming pets for you it's a it's a pet grooming place where you can take your pet to get the fur all nice up get the nails clipped do what you got to do right so anyways the cool thing about this is if you go over here they got current you can change the colors dude look at this boom we can change the colors here we can change this we can change this to that and then we can go over to this one and we can change it to this and then we can go over wait wait where's this one Oh, there, there it is. It's hidden there. So, guys, I, I wanted to include this because if you don't look carefully, you will miss the uh, the availability and the possibility of being able to change the colors in the new office here. So, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of cool. Just figured I would show you guys that way in case you didn't know how to change the colors in there. Now you know. Moving on up here above near the church, uh, right, uh, right above the town hall, we're going to go over here and get a ladder because this is going to help us just get to the position that we need to to kind of go over what we need to talk about. Oh, nope, that's my book. Sorry, I was reading a book on how to YouTube 101. All right, so 
let's jump over here and let's look at this rod here, guys. This blue rod that seems to be odd and have some history in Brookhaven. Now, guys, if you remember before this update in the mayor's office in one of the cabinets, this rod was just there for no explanation whatsoever. We found it. We noticed it was like a little secret. We just couldn't really figure out what it meant. But now it's above the town hall. Now, what is this signaling rod of power? I don't know what it does or what it really is for, uh, but we do know that it was in the old mayor's office in the cabinet, and now it's on top of the town hall. So my takeaway from that is maybe Wolfpack was just giving us a little hint on something that was going to be added in a future update, so we put it there just in case we found it. We can be like, oh, this is weird. Maybe it's hinting towards a new update of some sort that's going to have to do with the rod, which indeed it did because now it's here and we can see that this rod is in full action. So yeah. I don't know. Cool, I guess. Still don't know what the thing does, but we got it on top of the town hall. <laughs> Heading back into the entrance of the town hall, we're going to the paranormal activity area. Uh, an interesting place, no doubt, but one thing I wanted to point out was the first ever ghost sighting that seems to be documented in Brookhaven at the current moment. That is disturbance reported in janitor room at 628. Three eyewitnesses reported this. So, guys, this is our first location where we can start conducting our ghost hunting adventures at the janitor room. Now, I, myself, alongside a lot of you individuals, we did this on live, uh, on a live stream, and we tried to find the ghost to no luck, but I think that there is definitely some ghosts that are going to be appearing and disappearing throughout the course of Brookhaven history, and we're going to need to find those and get down to the bottom of it. Ghost hunting is real in Brookhaven now, and this is the most exciting time Brookhaven's ever been around because this is all I've ever wanted to do, ghost hunting. I love ghosts. Ghosts love me. We have a wonderful relationship. All right. Okay. Finalizing it up and turning right around, we have the ghost hunting device. Now, this device is very interesting, and I know a lot of people don't really know what this device is. It's kind of like the Ghostbuster uh, ghost detecting device. It's a PKE meter, I believe. Now, what does this PKE meter does do? It's, uh, well, I, it almost uh, looks like an exact replica of the one in Ghostbusters, right? Which was invented by Dr. Egon Spingler, or whatever his name is, to attract ghosts and other entities, right? So, that's pretty cool. I mean, it, and it will beep. And you will be able to find different things, and it will be faster as it gets near something. Okay, dude, so we have to be on high alert. We have to be on high alert to see, uh, because, oh, and guys, PKE stands for, like, psychokinetic energy meter, by the way. So, uh, yeah, it's like, uh, it's picking up the, 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 the amounts of set energy uh, to the direct location uh, like so if you're at a certain location it's going to pick up that energy and obviously it's going to pick up very fast and start going crazy if there is a lot of um uh stuff going on you will hear like a crazy beep 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 but right now it'll just kind of beep you know kind of normally so if we head on over to the generator and guys i have not got this thing to go crazy and beep fast like i've just got the normal beep to it right so okay to be fair Okay, I know you guys probably can't hear the beep beam, but like, it kind of picked up a little bit at the janitor's office. Hold up, dude, I'm kind of scared now. But yeah, guys, ghost hunting's scary, so be careful. You don't want to dig nothing home, do you? All right, so yeah, with that aside, though, guys, that's going to do it for our 10 new secrets in this update. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you got a secret that I have not found or did not include in this video, make sure you tweet it my way on Twitter. I will love you. Yeah, sure. All right, so um, we got an Alien Rosie, uh, OG group, on Roblox. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Upload every single day.